Microsoft Edge for mobile phones is doing something that Google Chrome isn't. So as you guys know, Microsoft Edge is basically a Google Chrome. It's based on Chromium. And most of the popular web browsers are actually based on Chrome, okay? So they offer different features and whatnot. And finally, Microsoft Edge is doing something different than Google Chrome, which makes it a better choice than Google Chrome on mobile phones. Basically, now it supports extensions. Yes, if you go and download the latest version of Microsoft Edge, which I never did until uh, today. <laughs> okay, this is the first time I'm actually trying out Microsoft Edge on my phone because I have been using Google Chrome and I think I'll keep using Google Chrome, but this is interesting. So if I click on this three hamburger menu, which will basically bring up the menu. Uh, and here you can see there is a new thing called extensions. I can click on it and it will take me to the store, extension store, and we can download the extensions. For now, this thing is still in beta. So you can see there are a couple of extensions that you can download actually. So let's download a couple of them. This is actually super useful if you actually want to use, you know, Chrome extensions on your phone. Okay, there are actually some really useful extensions that you can use. One more thing, as of making this video, this doesn't actually support all the extensions, but I'm pretty sure this will expand and they will add more, you know, extension support thingy. Yeah, you got the idea. Bitwarden password manager. Yeah, you can also have that here. I'm pretty sure this is used by many people so this is really useful and i'm surprised that people have already downloaded a lot of extensions actually you can see the downloads 4.9k which is basically 5k okay so there are some vpn extensions i can click on this enable disable and now if you go and uh, click on extensions again it will actually show you all the extensions that you have uh, installed and we can click on it and I think we can do something. Yeah, this is a VPN extension. Oh, okay. So look at that. So now it's connected to the Netherlands. And uh, let's check on that actually. And let's see if this actually changes something. Yeah, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Okay, <laughs> so you can see the extension is actually working and it looks pretty fast too. Let's do a speed test actually. Let's start. So Bing also has the speed test thingy built in. I didn't know that. Okay, so since this is connected wirelessly and I'm getting that speed with connected VPN, yeah, that, this is pretty good actually. So the other extension is dark reader. This will basically turn dark mode for any website, even if the website doesn't support it. Okay, and you can also customize it. Uh, there is the customize option so on there are many other extensions that you can download the list isn't that big again as i said this thing is still in beta and i'm pretty sure microsoft is going to add more extensions in the future and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.